Web comics, I kind of think of it like a play uh, versus a movie. You've got the opportunity with a play to have people running through the audience. You have the opportunity to have somebody come through the ceiling. You have the opportunity to ask questions and have the audience tell you what to do next. For the most part, it's just bells and whistles. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. And what's important is to be able to tell a good story in that little panel. And whether it's for the web or not for the web, people just want a little story within that proscenium arch. And taking them outside of that and to make something that's specifically for the web, that takes advantage of the web, I think you have to have a good reason to do that for a story. Otherwise, it's just a gimmick. And this has nothing to do with the medium, really, but working on the web means that I can, I can um, change my mind whenever I want and, and change what I'm doing literally you know, within a minute, which is what happened today. I don't actually have, a, I don't know what's going to be in the last panel of this strip. I know it's a visual gag, but I'm trusting that it'll come together when I get to it. I'm just following my whims. Like, I mean, I could do that in print too, but I just happen to be working on the web right now. I'm working short form with this, so I mean, if it was a longer form thing, I wouldn't. I would still be able to do that, but um, I guess it would be a longer process to go back and change things. I find that a lot of the uh, like a lot of the dialogue for this thing, I kind of just make up later because it's not really that important. This one is just a situation of these voles cooking. In coming up with it, I was tempted to not have Charles Chris written it at all and just make it a, a cooking gag. <laughs> but um, I, need to, I think I need to be talked down from this stuff all the time. I think one of the best ways to work is to have that uh, self-contained story, but it's even better that you have the ability to go back if people want to get where you're coming from. There's, they can go back and see these inside jokes or what you're building to or, or have built from, but it still needs to work on its own. Yeah, I've had many readers, many readers say they come back, when they come back every week, they actually start reading from the beginning every week. You know, so they're like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm posting page, like, well, this past week I posted page 27, 28. So, you know, that reader is coming back and starting at page one and reading again to get the complete feel the complete story of thus far you know they're not going to get an ending yet they'll come back you know maybe three months down the road and finally get that full story experience whereas with things like butternut they come in they see that they read the gag and it's the punchline they laugh or they don't and then they come back next week and they know they'll have that like that moment that they can experience and if they miss the next week or the week after they're not missing anything of an ongoing story i've got this sort of this adult chef vole describing, uh, you haven't read the previous one, but this vole is describing how to make a fruit compote. <laughs> and I've, I thought, I've got this one vole ready to put a, his first line here is, uh, he's saying, he's saying, um, saying any fruit may be used in a compote, but remember, the flavor of, the flavor of black currants does tend to dominate. <laughs> <laughs> so this vole is holding a black currant. I was going <laughs> to, I, I was going to just have a couple panels of him kind of, waiting to put it in until the till the, the teacher gave him the okay and then, then kind of placed the fruit no, into the bevy the whole strip. So what are you doing instead now? Now I'm just kind of continuing it and this bowl smells something funny and he's saying nonsense it's the just the natural aroma of whatever and there's a cutaway to now what do I like I'm not sure what's funnier I was I was gonna cut away to just Charles Christopher looking disheveled like a few feet away from them. I don't know I might take I might take some suggestions from reader comments uh, in terms of, you know, fatigue with certain types of stories, you know, like if they were getting tired of, uh, of seeing, for example, of seeing that kind of surreal stuff that is, that is both directionless and unfunny, <laughs> then, you know, then I would take that as a cue to switch gears. Um, but that's really, that's really about it. Like, I, I don't really listen to, um, the, the comments that, that, that call for more uh, digestible directional story um, faster because I, I have no interest in doing that. I struggle with the thought that perhaps the story is moving too slowly because whereas it would only take you less than a minute to re read four pages, 
uh, in, a, in a printed book, it's you know taking if you're following it week to week, it's taking a month to advance the story, and uh, it's it is challenging because you have to make sure that that over the course of that month you're moving the story forward enough, um, while still giving yourself this you know finite space every week to to put story uh, in. I always I always try to give the reader something. You know, every 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 page adds new information, whether it be action driven, uh, dialogue driven, or you know, character driven. Now, this hand coming down here is it? I don't know. I feel it feels kind of dead to me. Like it's not. It's yeah. not Really singing like. No. The the hand is. I thought I thought like the finger coming down it would be good, but this is not really. Not really no, it's, it's kind of it's, it's yeah. It's, is it it's, is it the angle or is it the is it the concept? Like, does it need to be something I'm else? I think. But I think it's something that you have to do in printed comics or novels, anyways. Like you, you always have to feed the the reader something that keeps them turning the pages. And I think um, I think it's probably a little bit more dramatic in the in the web sense because they're experiencing a week between page turns, so they have to have enough of an inclination to come back the following week, and and you have to give them that that desire to come back by what you gave them the previous week so it's kind of like it is a constant battle i think you have to constantly keep readers interested and want them to keep coming back for more or maybe he's putting something into it <laughs> it's like an added ingredient or something <laughs> actually that's funny <laughs> you know like he's adding like i don't know yeah, what if he's, if he's adding <laughs> if he's adding black currants to it yeah or something like <laughs> That's funny. Something like that. Like, I just like, what the hell is going on here? Oh wait, if he says he's he's smelling something funny, maybe he's adding something nasty to it. Yeah, it could be either one. Like if he's complaining about, he could be saying, no, 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 you know, no black uh, black currants or something. It's like, why? What are you doing? Okay, good. It you should know. be insects <laughs> or bugs or bugs or something. Yeah, it could be anything. You just gotta figure out what visually works right out that sells it. You know. Yeah. I wish, like, if I had done something before now that I, that I had established, yeah, like all he's really done is mess with bees and <laughs> a big beehive yeah. dropping it. <laughs> no, I think I think that's much better though. Like having him drop something. That's, that's yeah, I think like a, less, uh, more successful. Think, something really gross, or it could even be like by other expressions, like even this one here with the little <laughs> eyes closed, like something really gross or something like like that's then like it contradicts what exactly you can say like some black currants or something like big other big piles of them just come in mm -hmm. or something like that in fact the more of this i do like the more i think i guess yeah a larger story will unfold but i'd rather get there through little um little slices of of, of humorous situational moments rather than the more i try to force it the 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 shittier i think it gets when you're trying to figure out a story um, and how to tell it, uh, you have this, you have an idea in your head and plot is like a, a sledgehammer, you know, as opposed to a, a small pickaxe. Plot, applying plot to your story and trying to move a story around through, um, through plot movements is clunky and usually breaks a lot of things and, and doesn't allow you to be as subtle with the storytelling. You know, and and if I start doing this Charles Christopher strip based on uh, plot points, like where I have to be or where the character has to be at a certain time, then I find uh, it, it. I start to feel rushed by it, and it feels uncomfortable. And the last thing I should have to be while well, working on a story that's open ended like this is rushed. Are you out of tape? Are you rushing me? <laughs>